What's up everyone, 3D Prince 747 here. Uh, for Halloween this year, I'm going to be the Batman. So I've got all the parts printed out in TPU. Uh, these were all done on an NA Cubic Cobra Max. Um, but now I realize that I'm missing a few parts for the chest plate. Um, so I've gone ahead and started a print on q one q it's in TPU, and I'm using 25% in the fill, um, so it's flexible. But I used all other defaults, and so far, if you look at this print, I mean, it, it looks just absolutely amazing. I'll show you when we're done, um, and we'll see how easy the supports fall off. I use a .3 top seam and a, top, and a .3 bottom, uh, so hopefully, They'll uh, pull apart pretty easy and won't be fused to a piece. Uh, that was my problem with the Cobra Max. A lot of the pieces are uh, fused to the supports. So let's go ahead and I'll finish this print and then I'll show you how it turned out when it's done. All right, so the print finished. And to be honest, it looks pretty amazing. Let me uh, see if I can get it off the bed. Yep, that's easy enough. Off the bed. Look how smooth that turned out. One little wrinkle. No, I'm not worried about that. But that turned out amazing. The support. It's peeling right off. I have to do it with one hand, but you can see that pretty much got that off. Except that one little piece that I'll just use my uh, scissors for. Or two hands. Yeah, that's it. Default settings in the Bamboo Lab. Uh, I used um, generic TPU. And the only thing I did was change the X, top X and bottom X up to Sorry, top Z and bottom Z distance to 0.3. And the... Hmm, just pop right off. Alright guys, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for checking this video out. I'm really happy with this result. It's nice and flexible.